I'm probably gonna guess uh, what Shane probably wants to start with is either uh, a Neaton Adept or a, uh, a Neaton Master probably to try to attack provinces early and Jerry probably wants either a uh, Eager Scouts or Crash Samurai. <laughs> you probably want to start with those so you can uh, protect their uh, characters with a uh, voice of honors and such. In terms of cards that both players want to start with, Shane probably wants Miramos Fury, Finger of Jay, so he probably doesn't get assassinated or policy debated. And Jerry probably wants either a voice of uh, way of the crane or some sort of voice of honor to just protect their stuff as well. So it looks like Jerry is being given the option to play first. Oh, okay, all right, that's a good. Oh, that's a good province to start with. Or holding, sorry. Okay, two eager scouts, Doji Whisper. All right. The Eager Scout, actually, that, that's exactly the character you want to get yes. in a dragon matchup. Cause so you so don't get many hit of... by Resto, Feast or Famine. Yeah, no, exactly. So to see two is great here. He'll probably go one, yeah, one phase so that he could probably use the uh, Eager Scout once or twice. And <laughs> as I described before, you want an Eaton Master and you want him to stick around. So uh, four and two. Or is that three? It looks like three. Like the top, the one where its torso is, it looks like it's two on it instead of one. Well, he started with uh, eight, eight on it. Yeah, right? so it must be. Eight. It must be. Uh, it must be three on it. Yeah, and uh, you uh, know, both I've... players bidding five. Yep. Uh, Jerry's dial just a little bit nudged to the side. Hand looks. Oh, seems pretty good. Uh, Steward of Law. Can be pretty good where he just attacks with a eager scout alone or oh, cautious scout alone. Ex apologies, not eager scout because that's a crap card. <laughs> I mean, cautious scout. There's too many scouts. Too many scouts. So he wants to attack with that alone, then jump in the steward of law to bow uh, with um, for shame because you cannot choose to dishonor. So I'm pretty sure that's not a very strong play against a Ten master though. No, I know, but I mean like it's. Um, like, you might as well force Shane to spend some of his fine katanas or ancestral daishos to ready in order to take a province or what have you. Because you don't want to lose the Imperial Palace this early. <clears throat> but it looks like, ooh, Mountain does not fall and, uh, okay, that's cool. Mountain does not fall in yeah. Shane's deck. That's, a, that's an unorthodox. Usually, usually Dragon's influence is all spent up with... Uh, with a um, Pathfinder's Blade. Pathfinder's Blade, yeah. Hiroma Skirmisher, and uh, Reprieves. Yep. Good to defend. So two against three. Flanking the uh, Shameful Display is good. Does Jerry want to contest this? No, I think, I think Jerry's strategy right now is... You use the uh, Cautious Scout to maximum... You basically want to use the Cautious Scout to poke as many provinces as you can. Reveal well, everything. Exactly. So that uh, you don't get hit by Resto later. All right. So Jerry's first play is going to be that Steward of Law, like Sung Ho mentioned. It's going to bring his strength up to three. Winning the conflict, if nothing else. Now, unfortunately, him playing that Steward of Law means that he's actually turned off Cautious Scout's ability. Let's see if Shane uh, actually realizes that fact. Yeah, so he catches it. And now I think Jerry realizes that he, he may have missed uh, that. So Jerry, then uh, he's going to... Yeah. So Jerry was just pointing out that, uh, yeah, I don't get anything dishonored because of Sturt of Law. Now, that, that was a bit of a suboptimal play just because, you know, I think Jerry didn't realize that by playing Sturt of Law, it would have turned on the Shameful Display, thus having to spend the card 
the Force Shame card in order to um, reverse his mistake. So Shane passing. I think he's just fine with uh, this fire ring resolving. Uh, his only option, I believe, is to honor this cautious scout. I don't think I don't think he's allowed to dishonor. I'm just gonna have to double check that. Uh, so that's Sungo just going over to the table and uh, letting them know that you can't do the dishonor. Sungo today is RTO as well as being my second commentator. So if things are a little bit uh, hectic, if uh, sometimes there's some gaps in our commentary, it's because Sungo's either answering a judge call or entering some tournament results. So Pathfinder Blade coming down on uh, Shane's and E10 Master to untap him. Yep, as I figured, there's a Pathfinder Blade getting ready to attack a, one of Crate's nasty provinces in this matchup. I don't think they opt to use Frostbitten Crossing. They mainly really? opt to use Fertile Fields and uh, Manicure Garden. Frostbitten Crossing is one of those... Um, it's, it's a very good province against Dragon, yeah. obviously, but... It's very selective. Yeah, I mean, it, Jerry's Crane Scorpion deck is, is a deck that relies on card and fate advantage more than yep. anything else. And, like, having f the option to run both Fertile Fields and Manicured Garden, it, it's much more useful in a lot more different matchups than the straight-up Dragon, right? For sure. So attacks, uh, Meditations on the Tau. Yeah. With a value of four, so it's already breaking. So that's not good. If we're up to Jerry, I'd probably let this province go. I like you have to force Shane to have another weapon to ready the master. And I mean, odds are high. Now yeah. this is interesting. I see a uh, calling in favors in Jerry's hand, so that could be a way to uh, Ooh, steal the yeah, steal blade the fat partner blade and then turn on the meditations. It's it's a bit of a low bet value play in my opinion because I mean you got three fate on no, that. You want better. Master. You want better attachments than that. Like you want a reprieve or a um, ancestral or Katsuni's method. Yeah. Some sort of like fine katanas or such. But it looks like he does it anyway to steal it. Because then now Shane just is gonna put another one on him. I would hope. Yeah, we see that fine katana, but he's reluctant to play it because he knows that that's just an untap he's not going to be able to do. Yes. However, I do see a second Pathfinder's yep. Blade in Shane's hand. So I probably let it go? Yeah, Shane, Shane yeah. does say he passes. Yep. So that lets uh, Jerry use it? Yeah, exactly. So that's what I've done yeah. as well. Just use your stronghold to get up to four instead of using a weapon to right. Uh, ready your character. So Shane plays a fan. Now that may seem like an odd play, but I think it's because he's preparing to use the box to, uh, yep, to, to pump go it up. to four. Yep. Yeah. I like that. To go up to four as such. Yeah, there we go. And I just... Yeah, you gotta let it go. So it's a break. Uh, toss... Yeah. We don't want another one of those. <laughs> um, I would get rid of, yep, the Cautious Scout. And let's see. Uh, free conflict, he passes. He should also be losing an honor for unopposed, so I'm going to knock that off. So it was a very, very tight play by Shane. It had the possibility of backfiring if uh, Jerry had anything to dishonor or uh, otherwise affect um, Shane, Shane's knee 10 master because he was breaking exactly by four. But, uh, you know, that play worked out for him because now he has a, uh, a big political buff yep. for his so knee 10 master and a Pathfinder's Blade. So yep. now he can do a political, uh, looks like uh, air <coughs> or earth is probably going to be the decent play. 
this is going to be... Well, there, I see that Jerry has a few cars that he probably doesn't mind losing. Getting hit by uh, Restoration of Balance, yeah. but... He's got, what, six cards, it looks like? So he only loses two if he runs into it. I, I think this is a perfect time to poke. I mean, you have... Your opponent doesn't have any targets for Feast or Famine either. Yep. Now... Jerry doesn't know this, but I did see a Tattooed Wanderer in Shane's hand. And I did as well. Usually on your first couple of turns, that Tattooed Wanderer is exactly the kind of card you want in your conflict hand. Just because it's a serves as an emergency um, character, that character just gets, to play. Yeah. Yep. It's always a sneaky one, too, because you're like, oh, I don't have to be worried. And then you attack it, and they're like, no defenders. And you're like, what? Where did this guy come from? <laughs> So Jerry asking how many cards Shane, Shane has in his hand. The answer is six. Yep. Uh, about right. Favorable ground, giving Shane a lot of options. If Jerry runs into Shameful Display, he can use it to honor and dishonor and then uh, bring uh, the Niten Master back out with the favorable ground. Wow, going back in, eh? Yeah. Sorry, I was mistaken. He already used the Shameful Display this turn. Oh, because Caution Scout yeah. um, can only do that ability if he's uh, attacking alone. So it looks like uh, Shane is defending. Yeah. So four to five, then gets Dishonored yeah. to go down three. Then yeah. reorders back to go back to five. Uh, okay. That's fine, I guess. Because Jerry will get the Imperial favor with the help of the Imperial yep. Palace. Now, <clears throat> so that that was odd because in light of that, uh, I would have thought maybe Shane should have just let that conflict happen, like not defend it, if he knew he wasn't going to get the favor in any way, and then just send Niten Master in for an attack. Oh, I see, and then uh, destroy so like, the Imperial yeah. Palace so that uh, you don't have to deal with it. But Jerry does have no fade at the moment, so like even if he does find a Yoshi early, then it right like that's the only character he's gonna buy. I mean, and look how Jerry, much Jerry wants to play the long game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Shane, more so than many other decks, Dragon is a tempo deck. Yes. Especially when you when your first play is a Niten Master. Yeah. Like, you were in such a commanding lead that I would have just pressed the attack on two provinces. Yes. So, um, I mean, I, I know that Shameful Display is a good province, but Dragon does have access to, oh, okay. access to other characters, too. So, Tagashi Kuni, the flop, uh, okay. with the Tagashi Initiate and a Mendicant. On Jerry's side, we see an alt art Doji Hitaru, with a savvy politician and a Doji Challenger. So, I'm just going to remind players to reset the rings and put fate on them. So Shane, now the first player, trying to decide if he wants to spend all his fate on a big guy this turn or uh, go wide a little bit. <laughs> so, Sungo acting as our uh, long distance table judge. <laughs> what were you saying when I left? You, you know what? We should have an intercom over there. You're like, eh, excuse me. Please, uh, <laughs> Please reset the board to accordingly. All right. I would like to buy just a mannequin, maybe just to set up. Like, I mean, that's pretty good in high glory. So I guess if you want to contest the ring uh, or the favor next uh, next turn, because I don't think this is a turn you buy Yukuni. There's no. I mean, sure, you can grab Neaton Master, but you've already used two blades. I saw uh, a fine katana, but Man, well, only... uh, playing the playing the initiate first is a good idea because you may want to play Yukuni if your opponent plays Doji Challenger. They still sign up. So. This is a tough pick. Oh, sorry. Savvy Politician's pretty good, but there's no other bonus character to boost it to. 
but you don't want to just buy. Oh, he passed. Wow. Yeah, because okay. I think he. I think Jerry does have a fate worse than death in his hand, and I, I saw it as a glimpse. He also has another steward of luck. Yes. Now the interesting thing is, does Jerry uh, does Jerry bid high here, or is he looking try to find to try to find? I that? think he has to go middle five again, eh? Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised he did that, knowing he is gonna have to face face check a restoration of balance, but. I think I think Jerry, with having only one character on the board, he may not even be wanting to make any attacks this yes. this round. So he was comfortable uh, going for the five bid that time. Now, now against Dragon Crab, like this particular build of Crane Scorpion, are you are you trying to go for a dishonor victory, or are you trying to put punch through provinces? Yeah, just punch through the provinces. Like, <clears throat> I mean, it's a nice alternative plan, but you don't really go that kind of way with this type of deck. Jade Masterpiece coming down on Shane's side. Oh, I like that. Move the, move the fade around. What do you think? Uh, water seems like a good... Yeah. Because if, she, if it Jerry's not going to defend, defend, then yeah. they have to force to... Uh, now, I guess it's pretty good in Jerry's side, so that... You you could even do something like chump attack... Well, you could attack the water ring, and then he commits, then you just leave with the uh, favorite ground. Yep. And you said... No, just, that's exactly it. You yeah. send with two people, right? If you're really worried about fate, worse and death. Then you send one of them back home. And then... I would have. I would have liked to play the. Um, I would like to play the Tattooed Wanderer that round, but that's okay. Ooh, shameful. So shameful on Jerry's side this time, with just the uh, Togashi initiate. Okay, seems pretty good. Yeah, must block. I mean. Now, I would prefer doing a policy debate just to see what's up in his hand. It's always a good. Oh, I see a. Uh, I see a. What do you see? Uh, Cloud of Mind, but no Shugenja right now. But it's still a good, uh, it's a good attachment to have because you're gonna need it later to shot off Yoshi, Hotaru, and such. <coughs> so. so, Jerry definitely thinking about it. Yep. But he's going to use the shameful display first. So, one to zero, strong. Now we're going back to one to one. Yep. So that's just using Tagashi Inishi, Initiate's ability. Yeah. Normally, I don't like these abilities, but it's nice to always get rid of status tokens in any yep. way. Like, So here's a policy debate on Jerry's side. Uh, I bet Shane's gonna just bid one. Yeah. Jerry's probably gonna go high and bid up to. Oh, we forgot Imperial uh, favor. So oh yes, you're right. Yes. Yeah, so in that he is winning. <clears throat> so I'm thinking Shane bidding one, Jerry going up just to make sure it lands. Yeah. So we got an honor switch. So I believe I believe Jerry's less than nine. I could be mistaken. Because he lost an honor because he dishonored uh, Cautious Scout. But I can verify that later. So out of here... Looks like I, he has seven. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm seeing too. And then I see Shane having 12 after getting that one. So, let's see. I like taking away Mountain Does Not Fall. Kazue, if uh, he's worried about keeping the Lin Master around forever. Yeah, I like that. Because if you bought, if if Jerry ever buys a big character, he's just gonna bring whatever. Well, into yeah, it and cast then, away with favorable ground, right? That's yeah, you're really just like, all right, too. I'm gonna walk in, yoink. Oh, you're not here, yoink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. again, that mountain does not fall. That's a very uh, interesting, uh, interesting card. I see, I'm seeing played in dragon decks nowadays. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, just pass, pass. So that's Jerry successfully defending. I would probably play a. I'm surprised he did. Yeah, he should have used favorable ground once he knew uh, 
thing was down? I, but I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, Shane Shane doesn't mind having the initiate bowed. It already used its ability, so it, was, it wasn't going to contribute more than one force anyway. No, you don't You don't think it would have been nice to send the Needham Master in and try to break it? I, I, mean, he, I think he's just looking to break one province's turn. Yeah. Well, no, he's, he's basically to open the gate. Yeah. Whatever defense says Jerry's going to use to defend. Then Shane was going to come back with a second attack. Now, Ooh, I, I do see a political rival in Jerry's hand. Ooh. Now, the, now the, I could, I could do political rival with two fate and grab the air ring to try to get up to four to do fate. Worse than enough. Well, the problem with that is uh, the favorable ground, right? That's exactly. You can yeah. covert the knee ten master, but he's just gonna send. Yeah, it he's in. gonna walk on it, no problem. But it might be important to maybe force the thing. I don't know, but he might as well. Now, I can't tell if Jerry passed his first conflict. So, Justin showed up late. Okay. Added him with a first round loss. Okay. So, you just have Ken. I give him his prize story. So, he's got to win, though? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> as we suspected, Jerry did pass his first conflict. So, so that's seven uh, political strength. One, two, three, four, five. So the Jade oh, Masterpiece yeah, is one. The Zero, one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that does not count as fate. <laughs> sweet. Well, not sweet, but I guess you just kind of have to slam it, right? You have to hit that uh, fate worse than death right now. Yeah. I, I, I would do the same thing right now. Yeah, it, it turns off the ability, so yep. you don't have to worry about him... Uh, Defending your follow-up attack, and I don't remember seeing if Shane has a reprieve in his hand. Did you get a chance to see his? Uh, I don't. I, didn't, I don't I think didn't he see had reprieve, one. No. I don't think he had one. So losing this big force is. Uh, so I think I have to go correct them. What for what? The number of. No, nah, it's alright. No, all right. all right. Well, okay. Because Jerry might think he might want to. Ah, whatever. He's gonna send this guy home anyway. <laughs> Well, because right now, whether it's six or seven, he's breaking the province. Yes. <laughs> it's still the rest of the necessary amount. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> hmm. You know, one, one of the things uh, when I'm playing Dragon, because Dragon is my primary clan. Right. It's just, at some point, you have a character with like 20 attaches on it. Like, what's the best way to arrange all of them so that all the information is, is there, you know? I like doing it... Um, I guess like backwards or something so that you can just like show your opponent what you have. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Is it two? I thought it was one. Isn't the mannequin just one? Eh, it doesn't matter. But Isn't the oh, one, gonna, sorry? Oh, he's going to bow the character anyway. Yeah. He used Shizuka Toshi's uh, ability. One, I'm... I don't know. I feel like it's the... Uh, they put the wrong ring back. Which ring? It should, it should be air, not one. Yep. Can't tell if it's nerves on camera or... <laughs> okay. So, so now, now the interesting thing is whether or not uh, Jerry's actually going to throw out a political rival or uh, maybe even just a steward of law and poke. I uh, I would I would actually not send another conflict in. Yeah, you don't want to hit want, resto. You don't want to hit resto. You don't want to hit you. You don't want to think like, oh, I can go into the shameful and break it. But you don't want to. Uh, you don't want any of these guys honored. You don't want to like favorable ground move in the Togashi initiate and honor it, or or what if you accidentally hit a uh, feast or famine and you boost up your. Uh, well, I guess you can send with no fade, but it, it fade does look like he's going for the political rival play, though. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. No. I don't now see he put any. he put one fate on there. It's it's risky, right? I know that this is the this is the fear that I'm thinking of. I think you go, yeah, yeah. 
it's it's unfortunate. It's the safest play. It's also one that doesn't affect Jerry's uh, strength because that is true, political rival has zero, zero glory. glory. Yep. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter who you covert, but I think Shane's gonna force to protect with a uh, Tajud Wanderer, I guess, right? Just make sure that this doesn't get broken. Uh, you or know, do you think he's worth it to just keep it as a uh, attachment? <coughs> Excuse me. It's it's tough, right? Like against, uh, yeah. Interesting. It's, it's yeah. tough because like against Crane, you do want to keep uh, you do want to keep Shane Fultis playing yep. around. But honestly, you also want to uh, incentivize your opponent to, to attack the yes. other provinces. So sometimes I'll just let something like Shameful Display go, even though it's a strong province. Right. Just because I want my opponents to attack other provinces. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's still a break. Ooh. I see what's going on here. Tadu Wanderer with one fate. Yep. It's going to put on a Katsuki's method to go up to three, then go up to four to with win. With the box, yep. Yeah, with the box to win. I like what's going on here. Interesting. Do you for shame, knowing that it does no value to... Yeah, I guess so. It seems bad to waste two for shame to do this, but... Reducing cards in hand is still good. So three to three, uh, Jerry's still winning. So now he's deciding if he wants to do it. Ooh. Now look at look at all those censures and uh, four GDX. Four GDX burning all. It's this is why it feels bad, man. Playing in Dragon, they have so few events that matter. Yes, let go Fury. Yeah. That's it. I mean, now we see Shane with Mountain, but still, it's not a <clears throat> critical. Uh, I don't like letting this go because you really want to get rid of one of these characters because you're also losing one character as well. I guess Jerry's thinking to himself, really? if I burn two for shames, like, does my opponent have another Tattooed Wanderer to prevent the break? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So Jerry's gonna gain an honor, and Shane's gonna lose an honor. And we're in a well. Sherry's in a pretty bad position here. I don't yeah. think it's. I don't think it's all that bad. I mean, he uh, he got rid of the Miten Master Tower. Shane was didn't yep. have that reprieve. So He's going to be using the Mendicant to take yes. a look at the top three cards. One, two, three. Ooh, I see Raigutsugu. That character's going to be pretty good uh, in the future rounds. You, you think Raigutsugu is very strong against Crane? Yeah, just because usually a lot of Crane personalities don't really have a lot of military stats. So yeah. when you get to just at least like void ring them, it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Shane does have a higher... Uh, honor lead than Jerry does so like even if he does lose a bunch like he'll still be able to now would you would you toss the uh, Yakuni to guarantee getting Ratsugu this turn I believe Ratsugu is on the middle part so he has to discard yet another card in order to do that right but Mendicant oh, oh, allows yeah. you to rearrange it oh I see so okay. he, if he wanted Ratsugu this turn he could have done it he would have to give up uh, no. Yakuni I, I, ooh, um, no I'd wait it's not something we need to do right now because political rival can't duel him. Uh, and, yeah. Like, interesting. <clears throat> so he Jer kept Doji Challenger. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, Do Doji Challenger, when you get it honored, is actually a significant military threat. Oh, of course, of course. And it's I just... think that's the reason why he decided to keep it. Okay. Well, and he's going first, too, so there, he can bring someone. There are situations, yeah, especially if you're going yeah. first, there are situations where you want to to yep. use it. Like now, if he pulls in, if he plays out Yakuni, oh, the only oh. problem is uh, Shane ended up drawing another favored ground, so yes, it's not going to be as um, <laughs> as useful oh, as Yakuni it normally would three. be. This is going to be pretty brutal. Yep. Should have passed. 
Uh, Dial's probably... She's probably going to go high. Jerry's probably going to go middle. Like three or two. Yeah, he's probably he, needs go to, like he needs to start something. drawing less. He's going five Still again. Five. Eh? Wow. I don't know about that. Whoa. So, uh, is it Spirit Guardian? The one that, uh, it's like a conflict character that you, you can trigger the ring when you're attacking. It's Cami Unleashed. Cami Unleashed, right. So hopefully we'll see that in action. So honoring Joji Challenger. Yep, we're going upstairs. Hmm. Yep, pass again. Well, why do we attack? Yeah, I, re I really wonder. I mean, I don't want to see Jerry get punished here for drawing five again. I, I get pretty tilted when I hit yeah. up. <laughs> but. But again, he just might try to go after the... Oh. But Jerry does have a uh, a dual... Um, what's it called? Sorry, I'm, I'm blanking out here. Duelist Tessa training? Skill? Tessa skill, thank you. So he can at least replenish back after he gets hit by it, but it still sucks losing a bunch of cards to it. But... I like. So I think I think actually Jerry passed his first conflict. Oh, is that what? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I get that. And now Shane might be deciding if he wants to initiate one of his own. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Can you copy a character's ability when they're cloud minded? Yes, you can. Yes. Yeah. So I don't remember the exact ruling. But Takashi Kuni's ability, yes. apparently, it's it's still printed on the card. Yeah, it's just the yeah. character itself cannot use it, but y Yukuni can still it copy se it. It seems like one of those counterintuitive rulings. I'm sure it makes sense if you yeah. if you read it a certain way, but... Yep, I see that. It, do it doesn't help that uh, Shane is playing with a alt-art and zero-text uh, Takashi Kuni, which I think is the best-looking of all the clan champions, but sometimes when know. you have the more complicated... Uh, when you have the more complicated uh, champion abilities, like Doji Hitaru is just like, oh, it's a reaction. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, <laughs> Tutori. Okay. I like uh, I like the art on Altana Sare. Even yeah. though she, she really is it is she right? It's a she. Yeah. 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 Rib, rib unicorn, but we do have a unicorn player here today. Oh yeah, well, uh, Ben's here. Yep. Uh, ben he loves, has, he loves ben, playing Ben's that. Ben's been playing yeah. Crane lately, though, in his casual games, so... I don't oh, know. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess I don't come more often, but... I did miss... Oh, wow. This is the... Yeah, I see. Um, Jerry still being... Oh, no, he did not pass his first console. Or did they both pass? I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm mistaken. So, Shane, uh, Shane is not defending... Yeah. But his first action will be to pull in the Yukuni with a favorable ground. Oh. I know this is this sounds bad. Yeah. But what if you want to go noble sacrifice the with uh challenger to uh kill Yukuni with noble sacrifice. Well, that's a nice idea, but he has to get around the um the shameful display first. Yes. Because Shane is probably going to trigger Shameful Display after Jerry's action. And remember, Jerry still has those two um, four Ooh. shames in his hand. Oh. It, 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 even with this Steward of Law, it's still going to cost him two for shames <laughs> because of that. Uh, yep. Because of yeah, that. Yeah, because uh, you don't want to. Okay, all right. So Jerry's going shameful up to four. Display. Okay. You still honor your guy, right? Yeah. To go up to eight. So that's a shameful display triggering there? Yeah. Okay. So here, here's the first for shame. Yep. Yeah, so it goes to five against... Uh, and ooh, court games, games back. See, that, that that's the risky part of that, right? Cause, I would censor this. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now Shane asking, okay, that was the third. Uh, that was the third third for Shane, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's four against five. Ugh. 
Yeah, I think Jerry really should have. Now oh, we're going to censor this. He must do it, yeah. There's yeah. a censure for the mountain. I kind of wanted you, to you know, Jerry Jerry knew he had the Mountain Does Not Fall, yes. so maybe that's why he didn't no, uh, but counter if, the court but games. But if, if Jerry did counter the court games, then it does get bowed. So the character can't do anything, and now the promise is broken. I see. Oh, Cameo Unleashed. We're going to five. So now we're going to see it. Uh-oh. I hope Jerry doesn't realize that he cannot dishonor anyone when the uh, ring goes off. Because of, uh. Yeah. Let's hope he, uh. Sees that. <clears throat> Ooh. Well, apparently Shane didn't see it either. His <laughs> 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 cloud of minded, uh. Cammy right. at least doesn't say no attachments, right? No. I don't he, think so. He sh it can still get hit with. Right, him. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I think Shane uh, Shane messed up there. Well, Jerry also although, did. Although although he could have still re like he could still use it to dishonor the Tagashi initiate. That is true. Yeah. Uh, this is an awkward race. Sh Shane was thinking about copying Kami Unleashed with Tagashi Kuni. <laughs> Ooh, going to seven, and so no longer can break. Yeah, no longer break. Bad yeah, things. Things have been going good for Jerry. Have not. Oh, okay. I think he said half. <laughs> I mean, he he hasn't he hasn't lost uh, more than one province so far, which is actually pretty good considering. Is, I'm I'm actually surprised that uh, Jerry's been able to survive this long without another province being broken. Well, good for him. So. I think I think some of that has to do with uh, Shane's mediocre flops after turn one. Yes, yes. His I mean, flops he he played only one guy turn one, and then turn two. I think he only played the mendicant and the uh, initiate. So. Yep. All right. So. And also, I think a lot of Dragon's early game aggression also relies on the opponent hitting a feast or famine or a. Yes. Uh, restoration balance for that huge tempo swing. Yeah. Earth. Military. We're going to value of four. Ooh, Manker Garden. Seeker. So the first Seeker ability. <laughs> Manicure Garden was province? Yep. Ooh, I like this. I would defend this. Yeah. And then assassinate the Tatu Wanderer. To try to win the. So you're saying Jerry has an assassin in his hand? Yes. Yes, I saw it earlier, as he brought it right to the front. That puts him on five honor. I, I don't think that's a problem just yet. No. Oh yeah. But I don't think Jerry wants to leave this province uh, alone, because getting fate is still pretty good. But does he want to kill? Oh, I see. I see what uh, Jerry's thinking of. Maybe he'll. Um, just assassinate one of these two that's attacking, and then when Doji Challenger attacks, he'll bring in the Tattooed Wanderer yes. into the conflict so that he cannot do a second attack. Maybe. We'll see how his uh, turns will go. <clears throat> Though I hope Jerry didn't really big, make a big tell that he does have a Noble Sacrifice in his hand, considering that he aggressively wanted to attack the... Uh, Firing. What's that? I I hope Jerry didn't reveal that uh, uh, Jerry has a noble sacrifice in his hand because the way he'd been aggressively trying to get the fire ring. You think it was a bit of a tell what he was doing? I think fire ring is a is a uh, desirable enough um, ring for Crane that you can your your intentions aren't that naked when you do it. True. True. Because mostly you might want to honor your own character so that your voice of honor gets active, right? Yeah, okay. So, no defend. Okay, that's fine. So, still breaking. I think if, if the assassination is indeed the play, I think he's de debating whether or not to save it for the Tattooed Wanderer. 
No, I'd kill I'd kill one of these two. You wanna as bad as it sounds, you're about to lose four honor here. Yeah. But you kinda wanna still get rid of the Oh, okay. Shane does have a uh, attachment to uh, go upstairs. Yeah. To put onto the mendicant. Yep. Yeah. Five katana in box, enough to break. It is. That's true. I mean, but that's a uh, katana you're putting on a um, character that's about to leave. Character about to leave, but it might be okay. worth it, right? All right. Okay. So that's the Earth Ring one. Okay. Now, uh, Jerry has to remember to lose an honor because it was not defended. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to go and fix that. Okay. And would you think Jerry's going to attack the... Uh, He's probably going to go after Shameful Display because it's already yeah. been triggered this turn. Because it's five against two. Yeah, so he just caught it. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, Shane looked up and saw Sung Ho walking over to the table. He's like, <laughs> He's like oh, something's, <laughs> something's wrong. Something's <laughs> wrong. Yeah, got to get that. got to get that honor back. Yep. I mean, I would. Right? You go I, don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe just let him have the province. Oh, yeah, because Shane can still do a second conflict I don't, and then I, go I mean, get yeah, rake you don't, the I don't think, uh I don't think Shane's in a position to win by dishonor necessarily. Ooh. I think it's going to be a lot harder than breaking the province. He could also... Um, you know what he could do? He could also find Katana, the Tattooed Wanderer, and then mute Box to go up to five political to break the Shambo display. But first, you'll have to see if Jerry actually pulls him in. Yes. Or not. This would only happen if Jerry does not yeah. pull. That, that's the thing, right? You want to leave Jerry the option. I think Shane Ooh, is fine losing here with the, losing um, the... Yeah. Losing the political rival is pretty bad there, because now he can't defend with a... Uh, a prop. Oh, he does have another one. Okay, how lucky. Oh, charge. Oh, wow. Can you... Um, charge Aruma. Well, I guess it won't ever happen, but I wonder if you could charge... Like, are you saying if you flip back over the Shameful and then reveal it again, is it considered a new province? Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know that answer. See, it's, going with other game references, I would imagine you can, but correct. I, I could be wrong. Yeah. Because, well... Uh, yeah, so... Six against zero. I don't know if Jerry pulled him in. Anyhow. No, it's... Uh, no Shane pull. said he... Well, Shane said he wasn't defending, and now, oh, now Jerry's going to pull him in. Yeah. Yep. So six to two? Six to two. <clears throat> I'd go upstairs. You don't want this province to be broken yet. It's worth a fine katana to not lose. I, I think Jerry's also fine with this because yep. uh, Shane doesn't have any money, so he can't play any ancestral cards. Yep. No ancestral cards. And so if he's no playing any, Fury. If he's playing any attachments, he knows they're going away at the end of the yes. turn. <clears throat> and even if he uses the box here, Jerry's still winning. Yes. He would have to be forced to use two. Oh, but then he loses the other. Uh, he would might, yeah. I don't think he wants to lose the ancestral. Uh, the Daisho. Da, no, the uh, method by putting another fine katana. Because, whatever. Right. Yeah. You just let it be. Just get two honor. Or Jerry was probably just going to get two honor. Yeah. I think Shane, Shane doing this, he just realizes he just doesn't want it to break. He doesn't mind losing air necessarily. I'm sorry. Shane doesn't. Doesn't want it to break. That's all he yes, cares yes, about. He yes, yes, care yes, about yes. Sorry, no, I was just I got distracted yeah. by what was that? Yeah, no, no, I, I agree completely. Um, though Chain does look like he wants to do it, though. I think he realizes there's no point. Yeah. So Jerry gains two honor. Yep. But Chain will now get it, uh, imperial favor. All right, so end of the turn. We still have uh, so. get, board state hasn't really changed all that much. Ooh, although, Katsuki Investigator. Although I believe the uh, the favor now goes to Shane, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, air ring should not be given a fate. I'm gonna fix that. Okay. 
and uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh. He, oh, they heard me. They heard me. Uh, listen, Sungo, all you have to do at this point is just stand up. Yo, just, just stand, stand up. up. <laughs> stand up and they know. <laughs> Ooh. I would, I would get uh, Katsuki's uh, investigator maybe, try to rush it out. But Katsuki Investigators, I think I, it, it is my so favorite dragon card. So good, it especially, annoys me. Especially in an so event-heavy yes. matchup like yes. Crane, that's the that's Ooh, a character you want to play. Now that's a character you want to see. Sumiko, I think she her name is. Agasha Sumiko. And he, this is uh, this is the first turn he got the favor, so it's perfect yep. timing. Oh my goodness! Look at how much fate that. Uh, okay, that's. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can't really uh, use her ability because it's not a really act. It's like a static ability. So yeah, you if you're asking, it. can you copy with the Kuni? No. You cannot, no. So. Okay. Uh, do you get a Hotaru? No. I think you just get either a small character like Doji Whisper or you, a Sami. You, you play a Sami and Whisper and then you pass. Yep. I mean, your opponent's going to pass before you. Wow. That seems like a... If, if, if Jerry wants to fire the Noble Sacrifice, I think he should have grabbed the uh, two small characters. Holy smokes. Actually, you know what? This this makes sense too because he wants to save fate for uh, political rival, possibly yeah. on defense. Yeah. Which makes sense to just buy a big character and then now you have the fate left over for uh, a rival if you need it. Yep. Now I think you have to go. Uh, see, the risk is Shane might want to go low, thinking that Jerry might want to go back up. <clears throat> let's see what let's see what Jerry's bid is this time. He keeps liking to go five, but I think three is like a good number. Oh, three. Yeah. Three Shane, to one. Yeah. So. Shane doesn't want. Uh... What? Why is. How did Jerry lose so much honor? Well, he was at four honor. Yeah. So he gained two with uh, air ring. So then how is he now only at four, two honor instead of four? Because he just gave two to Shane. Wasn't wasn't his political rival dishonored? It when was. It went away. It was. There might have been something else so, too. So yeah. Six, then five. Oh, four because he did not defend. No, but he already lost that because he was at eight then. I'm gonna ask. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. All right. All right. Uh, okay. This seems uh, very dangerous. Finger of Jade. So Finger of Jade coming down. And uh, I wonder what... I think... Well, I think he's doing it because he wants to... Maybe he's worried about Noble Sacrifice. Yep. I, yep. I see that. So don't you know it's unprofessional to yawn into the microphone? Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> it's been a long day yesterday. But that's but no you, excuse. Yeah, you, you had a Netrunner net tournament yesterday, right? No, no, no. I, I, I did something else yesterday. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Who's coming in? I can't tell. Both. Wow. Okay. Yeah, why not? I mean... It, well, I mean, it's a safe enough province Sumiko to attack. doesn't get bound. Yeah. And it's a safe enough province to Yukuni attack. Yukuni can copy Doji Challenger, so mm -hmm. you just hook him up. Say no I, defender. I, I, think, I think maybe that's he wants to pull in the Challenger. Yep. No, no, I think... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought he might have wanted to pull Hotaro over. So that... The, if you pull in Hotaro, then the Challenger can pull in your Sumiko on defense. Right? On the uh, crackback. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So no so, defenders on Jerry's side. Yeah, so it looks like it's a value of nine. Yeah, and he, he just copied Challenger. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he so, pulls in Hitaru. He does go with Hitaru. I don't think Shane wants uh, Jerry to fire off uh, double air ring to try to go back to honor. 
Right. So, as as bad as it is to um, not let the Doji Challenger bring in Sumiko, but right. I think that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to notify the players that there are less than 10 minutes left in the round. So we see Jerry playing a test of skill here. Uh, gets to look at four cards because of the duelist that he has. And most likely named event, but gets a bunch of counter spells for his trouble. So he does uh, name event? Is that what he said? Yep. Yeah, obviously. He probably wanted a Fate Wars Dead there. That's okay, though. Uh, this is a problem with playing, and I think we've talked about this before, Sunho. <laughs> Playing super counter spell heavy decks. Yes. When uh, especially when Dragon. The one archetype yeah. that does not care about counter. Uh, yeah. I think you take the test of skill and policy debate. Yeah, but if you take test of skill, I mean, you can't play Fate Watcher that if you see it. Okay, ugh. <laughs> this is tough. This is tough, yeah. Now, Jerry does have a bonsai in his hand. He can... To go to yeah. one honor? Ooh, risky. Yeah. Sumiko, go to 11. So now you're breaking. Yep. Let's check what else is in the hand. Uh, nine against... Ooh. All suit bait here. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, you're not going to get rid of Finger G for that. One. <laughs> that was a pretty, pretty obvious bid. Yep. Everybody's got a... Uh, man, maybe you take the Tattooed Wanderer, I think. To get rid of a character? I can see that. That charge is tough, too. No, but you, we have a voice of honor. That's true. So it's either you can be, you were worried about one of the two, so you can get rid of one and encounter the other so one. So if you have a voice of honor, I think you take the Tattooed Wanderer. Yes, yes. I would say so as well. Um, yeah. Jerry asking if uh, if he discards the Daisho, does he return get it back? back? And no, that's only with a character it's attached to dies. Yes. Or goes away, rather. Interesting. Those were the die show. I guess yeah, just still, fast. Still not looking good for Jerry. No, no, it does not. I think you just let this go. Whoa. Oh, do you go up? No. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> taking his head. No. So just uh, looks like plus two? Okay. Just plus two. But she can just respond with a plus yeah, two of his own. That's that's the problem, right? Like that. Yeah. Doing that, I mean, that's on board. You just you just lose to an on board trick there. Yeah. Well, and you so can't afford to go down to that much honor, though. You can't. If you were gonna play the bonsai, then I think you were gonna have to take that risk anyway. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Challenger. Oh, really? Challenger, huh? Yeah. Challenger dies at the end of this round now because of that. No, but I mean, like, if you really wanted to f choke him out on honor. Why not just knock one fate off of Hotaru so that uh, Sheen can attack with like an air ring or something? Because Jerry's probably going to have to be forced to attack with the air ring to try to get two on her back. And. Hmm. Oh, there's that noble sack. Yeah. I mean, it's. Th here's the problem. I mean, Sheen probably saw this coming a mile away, which is why he has the finger of Jade on Sumiko. Yeah. So even a fire ring is not going to save him. No. Water. And and the funny thing is, like, you may just, like, let whatever he does go, even an air ring attack. Yeah. So Jerry, it looks like he's going to go for water to try to untap his Ataru. Yep. I think you go political. Now let's see if he's going to get punished. No. Oh. 
Oh. There, there, there is a tattooed wanderer. Uh-oh. Right? And yeah. that's one of the other reasons why you'd want to yeah. take the tattooed wanderer is because uh, of that piece of There is a famine. seeker ability, but it is a yeah. optional. So let's see if they remember that. No, I am... I am oh. surprised. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised he actually defended here. Although, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because the Doji Challenger would have pulled her in anyway. Yes. So four to five. No, five to five. It's five to five, I believe, with political favor. Yes. So. Numbers are not matching, but that's okay. It's uh, hard, man. All those, all those pieces. Core games. Let it go, and then core game back. Yep. Nothing changes. War never changes. <laughs> oh, brutal. Six now. Seven. 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 You're right. Oh boy. See, this is the one thing I feared about. Jerry thinking, you know what? Let it go, let it go. And then Shane attacks with a, oh no, but. Yeah, I think they just remember what the value was. So, yeah, you know, I'd, for, mm, I'd force Shane, or <laughs> I'd force Jerry to use box to bow whatever the Tattooed Wanderer, but the Tattooed Wanderer will still get the attack in because political favor still applies so you might be able to just win this turn but chooses not to oh well it looks like Jerry just concedes yeah it looks like it, yeah. I, it he was in an impossible situation yeah. I mean he was he only had his Ataru staring down against two of uh, Shane's big guys yeah, that is pretty brutal. Yeah, next turn he was probably going to break two more provinces anyway if uh, Zero wasn't that line, going on. Yeah, fire. so Shane had a pretty off first two turns, and then his finishing rounds, or finishing turns, that came up really well for him. He right. got the Imperial Favor as soon as Sumiko showed up. Right. And just 